And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Turbo Sun Disk. Um, so this was something you know, like we played the regular Sun Disk version the other day, um, but we got to talking at the end of like having just a whole bunch of advanced cards with the Sun Disk and trying that out. And so that's what we're going to do here today. We're still playing Mono Sharima, of course, because we want to be able to start with the Buried Sun Disk in our hand. But then we have a lot of ways to advance this countdown because, of course, it has the countdown of 25. But we're going to have these Clockwork Curators be able to advance to, um, Esteemed Aerofan advance 3, and Preservationist advance 3. So all of these advancing, we're also going to have like Ancient Hourglass that can obliterate the uh, Aerofant and then bring it back that advances 3 also. So we're just going to basically combine all those advances um, to be able to get this Sun Disk down farther. So basically our goal is to level up Azir. Uh, which we need to summon 10 units. And when we have leveled up Azir, that will be 10 rounds for the Sun Disk. So then we only need 15 more. And then just all these like twos and threes and, you know, just a few rounds, like those should all add up and get those those extra 15. And then once our Sun Disk levels up, our level two Ascended Champions go to level three and boom, we got the Emperor's deck. So that's what we're going to be trying to do. We're going to be trying to get the Emperor's deck as fast as possible and um, as much as possible. So since that's our main goal, we also have Soothsayer in here. We got two copies of Soothsayer to be able to help protect our Buried Sun Disk from Homecoming or other removal spells. Um, but we, we probably still need a backup plan. So our backup plan is going to be Zillion. Zillion's going to be able to make some time bombs. And we can even make some time bombs in the Emperor's deck. <laughs> you know, we could you can even do that, honestly. Um, but, you know, like the Zillion will have the Predict to be able to help us find Azir or help find more advanced cards for the Sun Disk, playing three copies of Golden Ambassador to be able to draw Azir or even Zillion if we want, but you know, help us find Azir because uh, having um, level up Azir is going to be very important for us winning. And then the rest of the cards are just kind of like some interaction and some defense um, and stuff like that and some combat tricks and things like that. So uh, let's go ahead and give it a try. So this is going to be a Turbo Sun Disk deck. All right, facing Aurelia Azir. Fast aggro is going to be a tough matchup. It is for Mono Shirima. So I don't think this is going to be easy. I do like Spirit Fire and I like Merciless Hunter. I could see keeping, like, so I could honestly see keeping all of these cards. I could also see just sending the Azir back and, like, try, trying to find it later. I kind of think I'm going to do that. We need our Azir to level up. Like, we're not going to be leveling up that Azir anytime soon. I, w I would prefer to find Zillion first. See what we see. So and have Zillion, you know, make some time bombs for us. Alright, so we got that Azir right back anyway. By my side. See what we see. So. Spin it round, throw it down. Yeah. So they just have two cards left. We fill it. Dissident. Put me down to seven. So you may think, okay, well, why do we do that? Because then, you know, like, we could just Spirit Fire the next round and we just kill all these. But remember, Spirit Fire does the damage at the end of the round, so they just play two other units. Then the Sparring Students go to three threes, and then we don't actually kill the Sparring Students. So therefore, I'm actually kind of incentivized to play this, try to kill these Sparring Students and play the Spirit Fire next round, because I'm not really worried about these two ones attacking. The Emperor commands the land. Taken. 
So down to just one card left. And I can't play Quicksand there because obviously we need this Spirit Fire. Card's a mess. That card's a mess. Bask in the sunlight. Hmm. Steady your heart. Find your feet. I get rid of this inspiring marshal. I'm not sure I do. We're at four right now. Haven't I been here before? We were born in the first land, and we will defend them until the end. I dance not to forget or to remember. Fortunately, that's just about the best. Last card you can have. Sharima, your emperor has returned. Our blessed leader walks among us. The dance for two hearts, reunited in war. What now? Sedition. At least I don't have a way to make the, the sand soldiers. So that's good. I just hope, I hope that last card's an Opify. <laughs> our waters return light to the desert. The oasis of the dawn is the jewel of our land. Okay. Well. War is an instrument that can make or destroy its leaders. Instruments create beauty. War ends it. So can we stay alive this round? One heart to another. I guess we do. Our, like, the Azir dies, but we do stay alive. Right? No, because then they have three... No, yeah, because then they just have three attackers. So just all my stuff's going to die, but... We do stay alive. But everything dies. We're looking like maybe we had it because they only had one card left, but unfortunately that one card was the Aurelia, and then they drew another card and it was that lead and follow, like those. That, that was unfortunate. Um, I guess we have to... So, so like I can kill Aurelia, but then... Yeah, I mean, I guess we have to kill Aurelia. There's not. There's just not another option. Eight, nine, ten. Do not see what is. See what will be. We could top deck another Azir. Tell the people what you have seen today. We have to top deck another Azir, or yeah, just it's just Azir. Is our only out? Yeah, so Azir's are out. Our one our one Azir. Yeah, opponents had great last three cards, right? A really elite then lead and follow, then Azir. Alright, so if we top deck Azir Nah, time bomb. Because then, you know, then we could make three blockers and we could make enough blockers for all these. That was our that was our out. Well, we almost stabilized. It was close. They drew a little better. 
No, it is a hyper aggro deck. Come on. This is the similar region deck. It is the worst matchup. Alright, so the plan is Sundisk on one, Soothsayer on two. Nothing on three. Spirit Fire on four. Worries fall from us like water. We have just round two is here. Pretty sweet life. You are not welcome. Round two is here. In Shurima's name. Ease your worries. No mercy for those who desecrate our home. They will find our lands do not take well to intruders. <clears throat> it's possible they just pass, I, I suppose. Not in my city. Now we should do this now. Well, I mean, they're not going to pass, right? Like, they're going to attack, right? Yeah, I guess we should just do this now. Which I shouldn't be blocking after that. Okay, because the plus three plus one would guild it. Fight for the first lands. It is time. I have risen and weakened Sharima. Not in my city. We love it when they run. Go get him, Hunter. Give me grace, my doubts. We'll get our legs then. That's hard to beat. This is a really bad matchup for us. But I, I just can't really hourglass, honestly. Because I kind of have to do that. So can we be faster than Watcher? Usually I like Preservarium, but I wonder if we need to just be fast with all the advanced cards. Right, like, and just try to get the Emperor's deck. Quickly. Yeah, I think we could probably still keep Preservarium. It's just two mana. Alright, so Curator is a playability. It's not like Aerophant. And that's also true, that like maybe we have them attack with Watcher and then we try to have a new deck with the Emperor's deck. But of course at that point they'd probably just be able to attack again. Oh, 
Once I call to Kalamunda, we stand together. If they're out there, I'll spot them. All are welcome. Look out for Reavers! We of course need to find a Zir anyway for an Emperor's deck. Which we have not done so far. Oh, I guess this will this will draw when you do this, you would yeah, I'd draw one of each of your ascended allies. So yeah, you just draw it. Oh, yes, draw one right there. Give them something to remember. So we need a second Azir, right? Because yeah, we'll want like a rise, but we need we need two Azirs for that. So how do we find the second Azir? I'm not playing against anybody that like wants to play a fair game. <laughs> like a fair game of Runeterra. Hyper aggro and big combo. Like, can we just play against a regular mid-range deck? It's just these extremes. This is like the, the problem with Sharima is these extremes. Yeah, that was that was a weird play. None of those are Azir. Find his ear. Yeah, I don't. I don't know if we really kill Trundle. Something in the embers that can kill Trundle, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> We're in trouble. No, I mean, I kind of have to wait till like, after they attack with Watcher at this point, right? I can't just do it right now. Ancient things trapped in the ice. Eyes blazing bright as torches. Yeah. 
the water's fortune. Embrace the combat. Could not find it in his ear. Stinging cold. Heed my words. I suppose soon should be now. And obviously, all oh right. I'm not going to just draw in his ear afterwards. Um, but obviously, I'm, I'm just dead to like this trundle, though. Like I can't, I can't stay alive. Just a moment. It's like it doesn't it doesn't really matter what I did with the sun disc. I can't, I can't stay alive from trundle. So trundle kills me. So that's a, that's why I, I didn't really care what I was doing there with those because I could just I can't stay alive with the trundle. But how how do you get? So I just I, there's nothing I can do. Okay, finally we play against a deck that's not hyper aggro and doesn't just have the watcher <laughs> that we can't stop. So finally we play against just a normal deck. Now, Draven Ezreal is a great deck. It's very efficient. It's very good, right? Like it's a, it's one of the top four decks in the metagame. But at least we can actually play like a real game, and we may not win, but it's going to be a real game. The oasis of the dawn flows again. All are welcome. Okay, so make sure that two scorched earths, or like, well, they'll have to have two scorched earths. Some golden ambassadors going. Merciless Hunter, pretty cool. Alright, let's see if we get some time bombs. Or what, whatever else we get. Alright, probably want that Azir. We do have a zero on top. Oh, that's too bad. We're gonna get another gold ambassador ability. Gonna make a meal of them. No, allegiance is a summon effect. Okay, so six units for Azir. We want to play Azir when Azir's level dump. Captain Farron is really going to be the only card that can kill us, to be honest. We're not losing to anything else. Well, I guess we could maybe lose to Azrael. I guess it's possible. Not 
not in my city. Every life point matters. All of this is ours. Okay, so zero's at seven. That's nine. Attacking is ten. And there we go! How about that? You and Captain Farron. See, we just play against like a, a normal deck trying to play a real game. And we can we can do some cool stuff. It's not just like hyper aggro or, you know, combo watcher. Yeah, see all <laughs> I like it. Y'all are saying, want to know in my book. I like it. Okay, so we're going to try to, I don't know, find some time bombs or whatever. Like maybe a, a, maybe a leveled up zillion could do some good work. But what I like here is with keeping the zillions. Um, okay, there we go. I was going to say that that does mean that like we're probably going to find a zir with our champion spell. Or like with the gold, the gold ambassador, probably find in his ear. The way is always the same. And Chrono Shift should be pretty good. They're out there. I'll spot them. In Avarosa's name. I'm just gonna pass. Nothing stays. Sandra, not even winter. I am eternal, Keeper, and winter does as I bid it. We live in hollow times. Cool, bigger as here. Yeah, they really gave us some rough matchups. Double Lissandra Trundle, double Aurelia. This year. So you are not very evitable. Sharima, your emperor has returned. So only at three. Having all of our Azirs is very important. So yeah, if you've always wanted to play Prism or you've always wanted to play uh, Prismatic cards, just play some Nab. You can disable Prismatics from your deck because, um, as you can see, actually like the Sun Disk and Azir, like I have these Prismatic, of course, because they they came like Prismatic with that other thing. Um, but there's like in the in the deck loadout screen, there's a place to turn on or off Prismatics. Sharima, your emperor has returned. Our city is in your care, and you and ours. Our opponent may have disconnected. I don't think they would have raged quit. I don't think. I don't, I don't know why they would. I think. Just in case, I'll leave you back. But can we get an attack in and get another unit in with an attack? All right, they showed back up. So I can hourglass, like if I hourglass the soothsayer, then uh, like soothsayer is a summon, so they can summon back and come and bring the spell shield back in. But of course, I'm just gonna play the two time bombs, level up zillion. Now Zillion will create more advanced cards for us. Unfortunately, that Lissandra's tough. Only it was like a 2-4, not tough. Uh, 
Okay, what do you need? You need four more. So, one, two, three, four. Together, we are part of something more. Together, you are children of Shurima. What's that, eight? Such little things, such big potential. Nine. I play this, we draw the last Azir out of our deck, so we have both other Azirs. Um, but, but I guess we could maybe draw the third Zillion, though, right? Like, I guess if I if I play this... You would give me the allegiance of your city. Tell the people what you have seen today! Alright, so they're down at four... I guess I'm just going to make new of these next round, new ones of these next round. I don't really need to use my hourglass, because we're just going to make new arrow fan next round, because of Zillion. You would give me the allegiance of your city. Okay, we got Emperor's deck. Oh, to shape the world at my fingertips. And now we have two backup Azirs, so like if they if they obliterate our deck, we can not only get like good blockers for Watcher, with like these Sand Soldiers are awesome blockers for Watcher, but then also, you know, put Azirs back into the deck so they can't really ever get rid of our deck. So they have to have Trundle kill us, right? Because like Watcher will never kill us. If you just keep Azir alive. Ledros. Well, I guess Ledros could kill us. God Emperor, your will is ours to obey. As with all Shurima. I guess Ledros can kill us. Onward. All are welcome. Um, yeah. We need more space. We need more space both on the board and in our hand. Because now, like, you know, Zillion's just going to create another Emperor's Guard for us. Wow, got a Flash Freeze out of their hand. Obliterate the Emperor deck. Ooh, what is this? Obliterate an enemy follower draw card? Um. Yeah, I mean, I could... But this is like the Ephemeral Watcher. I was hoping they play like this Watcher for, for me to obliterate. I was gonna say, like, why? Why is this thing here? Don't we have? Don't I have zero cards? They would. In Shurima's name. The sun disc awakens ancient power. But Shurima. We too are awakened. Yay. Very glad they did that. Kill the Soothsayer. Give me more room. So now, round star, we can create the two. Sure. Create the two sand soldiers. Oh, that gets burned because I don't have room in my hand. <clears throat> That's not great. That could be better. To victory! The order is 
Oh, I was going to put that 5 tier in play. I guess I shouldn't attack with the zillion, right? You cannot fight the cold. Yeah, I guess I didn't attack with the zillion. 5 2 would have been better. I, I did forget about that 5 2 coming. I did forget about that. Another mistake by me. That that mistake can definitely cost me this game. Now I have to waste this card. Like why did I, why did I attack with a zillion? Why did I attack with that zillion? A moment in time. Just such a bad move, but I can't play these cards, right? Because then we have to draw a card. But I, no, like I can't, I can't even play. I can't play this card at all. I can't play that card at all. I can't play that card at all. I'm sorry to say, time isn't really an illusion. So I block, block, block. Take eleven. Mask in the sunlight. Yeah, unfortunately, this is only the sun disc, right? Like that would have been nice to advance. <laughs> the frozen time. The frozen tomb. That would've been nice. Time is wasting. That's not what I remember happening. That mills me out. Like, really all they had to do was just pass, because I had zero cards in my deck, so I have to put a card back into my deck, and once I put a card back into my deck, then they attack, and then, then I'm dead, right? Like, that's all That's all they had to do was just pass. This is just really, really disappointing. I was so excited to play this deck, and and we we played, like, one real game, and we played against a, Aurelia Zir twice, and Trundle Lissandra twice, and it's just, those aren't, those just aren't games. That's so frustrating, right? Like, I just wanted to play, like, against, like, some regular decks and just... Our deck looked great in like the one game that we got to play that that was just like a normal game. Our deck looked awesome, but there's there's certainly two two things like Sharima and this kind of deck is going to be really weak against Aurelia Azir and Trundle Lissandra, and we got paired against them four out of five times. Um, I think we could do better even against like Thresh Nasus or Draven Ezreal or just you know like uh, any kind of deck like that. But I don't really have yeah, so I don't really have anything to say about the deck, unfortunately. Um, it's just basically that, you know, like we only got to really play one, one real game. Our deck looked awesome, but, uh, yeah, you know, pairings can hurt. All right, but that's going to be it for Turbo Sun Disc. So those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And of course, uh, feel free to leave those comments as well. I would appreciate that. Um, give this deck a try yourself. I would love to, to hear it from y'all of like, cause I only got to play against one one mat one like real deck, <laughs> so like maybe y'all can actually play against like some some uh, decks where you actually get to play some real games, and let me know how it goes for you. You know how how does the deck play? Um, you know, g give me that feedback. I'd really appreciate it. But that's gonna be it here for Turbo Sun Disc. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.